top of the morning, guys, or afternoon, wherever time it is you're watching these. I've had a couple people say that they want to see more fitness-related stuff from this channel, so I recently bought these fat grips. I, I'm, it's going to be out of focus, I know. They're basically rubber grips that you put on to your bars. It's going to put on my leg, but my legs are too buff for that. So you put them on your bars and it increases the width and the size and the circumference of your bars that you're using to lift weights with. Now, why is this beneficial? Many reasons. First off, before you even get started with these, expect to drop down a weight when you start using these because first off, they've got a little girth to them. It doesn't give an exact weight, but they feel like a pound or two easily each one. Secondly, instead of having a, t a tighter grip, you technically could have more control. It's easier. I mean, if you squeeze your hands like this, and then grab something cylindrical or circular and grab it, you can feel even just in your forearm alone the extra work that it takes to grip onto it and lift it and do things like that with it. So what these do is when you put them on your bar, you're going to see and notice right away how much harder it is to get that bar up. So expect yourself to go down a weight or just maybe do less reps or just take it slow, get some good form. So I'm going to be showing some clips and footage of me using these back grips to their extent, using some exercises with them, some things that the website recommended, some things that some blogs recommended you do with these. So with the increased grip, first off, it increases your forearm size, it increases your bicep size, it increases your arm size. What happens is, since it takes more grip to do this, when you pull it up, you've got more forearm engaged because your wrists aren't doing this. You know, when you when you do a bicep curl, excuse me, I'm drinking my protein shake because I just finished working out before I recorded this part of it. Um, so when you curl, you know, your wrists tend to curl in two to kind of feel like you've got that full effort, that full rep. Well, with these, you can still do that, but it's not nearly as easy to. I mean, if you just, you know, you can do this all day, but then, like I said before, you know, put, put something cylindrical in your hand and try doing that. This is actually, ironically, a popcorn ball. It's a ball of popcorn. My family tradition is delicious. It's just the first cylindrical thing, circular thing that I found. So when you do that, it engages your forearms. You're going to get better forearm action. You're going to get better bicep action. You're going to get better whatever you're working. I did some shoulder action. You get some better shoulder action involved with that. Whatever body part you're working with these things, Grant's not really easy to do with legs because you know you can't really put these on your toes or something curl them up you could but it's not really what they're meant for so when you put these on you get better forearm action you get better tricep action bicep action shoulder action bench press I did some bench pressing after I finished recording whatever workout upper body that you're gonna be using these for you get better forearm action which in increases the size of your forearms makes them look a little bit more vascular things to that extent Plus, on top of that, it, it helps your wrist against injury. Being a person that's always on the computer typing, playing games, you know, my wrists are always in pain somehow in some way, shape, or form from controller use or keyboard use or too much World of Warcraft, whatever. So it, it benefits your wrist because your wrists are locked in a more natural position instead of squeezing tight. You know, your, your wrists hurt more when you do that as opposed to this. They're more natural. Granted, you, can, you squeeze these more because it's harder to get that rep up but it reduces the potential for your wrist to get injured. So there's a lot of benefits between for these things and, and they're easy to slip on, easy to slip off, and there's so much more that I can say about these things, but I just wanted to get this video out there. This is also kind of a form check video for me. I know that some of my form in, in Eclipse is a little bit shaky, uh, but you know, this is me getting back into working out hardcore and very intensely so that I can, you know, I dropped, I was 165 at one point, right now I'm all the way down to 152. I don't know how it happened, but I'm not happy about it, and I'm going to change it. Uh, so, kind of an early New Year's resolution, I'm recording this on the 29th, uh, an early New Year's resolution for me is to hit 185 pounds, or 180 pounds by the end of 2015. Is it doable? Yes, because I have a lot of ideas and, and stepping stones that I'm going to be taking to get myself in that right shape put myself on a bike a little bit, get my cardiovascular health up a little bit more, that's also a goal, and just, you know, start to work out because every time after I work out, the rest of the day is fantastic because I feel good after I work out. I mean, most of the time you do, I mean, you do have that bad workout that you kind of feel a little in or you overwork yourself or 
whatever, you don't get in your zone or your vibe or you take too much pre-workout or too little pre-workout and you get too hyped or not hyped enough. You know, there's semi-variables that go in there, but I wanted to get this out. This is kind of the start of me getting back into the fitness stuff. So if you want to see more videos, more reviews on products, this is, you know, kind of the first step in me. If you want to see some of my products that I use, you know, if you want to see me review proteins or, you know, you know, amino acids or supplements, whatever I take, I can go through a video and give you guys exactly what I take if, if it's something that you're interested in. I know that I can hit 185 or 180 because I've gone from 150 to 165 in not a lot of time, maybe three months. So I don't want to rush myself, but at the same time, if I bulk, bulk, bulk like crazy, I know that I can do it. And I hope that all you guys are as excited as I am to be a part of it. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you think. If you want to get some of your own, I can provide a link in the description to where you can get these. I got mine on bodybuilding.com. Unfortunately, they don't have a referral link to pay me for referring you guys because if they did, that would be unfair and I'd be filthy stinking rich because there's a lot of great products on that website and I buy everything that I use fitness related from that website. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day. Until next time, I will see you later.